Hey Luke here with CatsAndCarb.com and I'm going to show you a fishing trip I did with 30 foot bamboo poles. I was sitting in my office and I looked out the back window and this guy had this awesome grove of bamboo trees and I said to myself, I want to go fishing with a 30 foot cane pole. This would be awesome. So I talked to my neighbor, got some permission and cut down a half dozen of these 30 plus foot bamboo trees. And uh, <laughs> Yes, I did it in a suit, and I strapped them to the roof of my car, and I went home, and nobody tailgated me. So I get home and chop off all the branches, try to do it without splitting the bamboo or scuffing up the bamboo. So I had this uh, this uh, knife I made uh, called a takewake. Um, it's a Japanese knife for splitting bamboo. I just so happened to have, so, so this would be perfect. So I went in there and whacked off all the the branches worked really good machete would do the job or a bowie knife would probably do just as well a little, a little hatchet or something cut off the last foot or two there you go awesome awesome fishing rod fairly uh reasonably light considering its length but uh at any rate i took a bunch of these an unhooking mat landing net some fishing gear and bait scale wing sling Packed it all up, got up the next morning at sunrise, and uh, I went fishing. I got some pretty weird looks from the cyclists on the bike trail, but uh, I wasn't the one wearing spandex, so, yeah, whatever. So at any rate, right after what seemed like the longest walk of my life, I got all this crap down to the uh, shore and, and uh, got my rods together. I had a bunch of extra rods because, uh, frankly, I didn't know if I was going to break them, and had some friends coming to join me, so I brought a little rod for everybody. Now what I do is I just tie uh, the uh, some 20 pound braid onto the butt and tie it off with some electrical tape. Then just wrap the spool around the cane pole all the way to the end. And this distributes the weight across the end of the pole. And if your pole breaks, you can still like hand align the fish in. So then at the very end, I wrap it a couple extra times put a little bit of electrical tape to keep it from sliding off the end. We're good to go. That's it. Um, then I take and I run the spool back about two-thirds the length of the pole. Now that's kind of the ideal length of line. And then I put on this little method feeder and a quick clip, a little hair rig, some fake corn. And I pulled out this Chinese float I had. Uh, I picked this up in L.A. Uh, over the winter time and I like uh, really exotic Asian floats so yeah it's they're, they're pretty awesome so oh, um, you can use beads and all sorts of things to attach them to the line I find a little bit of electrical tape works really well and super easy and I've got this panko jello sweet corn pack bait and smoosh it all around your method lead tuck in your uh, fake corn and, and your hook right in there and you're good to go this rig here is a bottom rig, so it's actually sitting on the bottom and the method feeder with the ball of bait is sliding up and down the line. And so the float isn't keeping it off the bottom, it's simply acting as an indicator. Man, this was so much harder than it looked. I, and I am not a pole fishing expert, but man, I probably had six, seven hookups and lost tons of fish. Got it. Oh, yeah. all right, Jeff. It's a catfish. <laughs> oh, look at that little guy. <sighs> well, he looks little because he's so far away. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Good table. <laughs> All right. Little channel cat, hung corn. Is he on? Awesome! Oh. 
hold on, Marty's not here with the net yet. Marty, you Keep him in the water. <laughs> nice car, man. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Yeah. I think that's your new uh, PB for pole fishing. <laughs> Most definitely. That's a beautiful looking fish, man. It is. Hit like a freight train, too. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, I tell you, they fight much harder on those long poles, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it felt like a monster. It felt like a monster. Awesome. Oh, that was exciting. Awesome. Right, you good, brother? Yeah, I'm good. You want to put them back? Yeah. Okay. You ready? You go for it. We're not eating <laughs> She's like, I just want <laughs> no fish gets away from Jeff Gonzalez. You're gaining on it, Jeff! You're gaining on him! I'm almost there! Is he on? So, I didn't tell you about the fact that the sewer treatment plant's upstream, I didn't... Not at all. How, how'd that water taste? Yeah, it wasn't the best. <laughs> it wasn't the best. You're here. I don't know what I was thinking trying to do this on my own. How would I land this? I need a 30 foot net and a fourth hand. What a gentleman, goes swimming after his wife's fishing rod. Have you ever worked harder in your life for a catfish, Jeff? <laughs> Marty, make it so there's no bend in the rod. <laughs> Did she just tell you be careful of the hook after she put it in your thumb? Yeah. <laughs> Be careful of the hook, baby, because I'm coming for you. I got a video of it. I got a video. Well, hopefully you got a kick out of that video. And if you like this video, check out some of our other great videos, including pole fishing for a little bluegill with my son Tommy on a small, beautiful little creek, and how to catch carp quick and easy. 
If you like these videos, click subscribe and you'll get new videos every week. And put any questions you have in the comment section and we try to always respond. Thanks for watching.